It is arguably the most famous photo in sports. But there were actually two of them. Muhammad Ali knocked down Sonny Liston in their heavyweight rematch on May 25, 1965. The moment was captured by two men. It was a time of great change socially and politically. And Ali has changed his name after joining the Nation of Islam between the two Liston fights. The 1965 rematch was very controversial. During the fight, Ali quickly landed punches on Liston's head, causing him to collapse. Some people couldn't clearly see the punch that did the damage, and it became known as the Phantom Punch, with some claiming that Liston purposely lost. The confusion didn't stop there. As the famous photo portrays, Ali taunted the fallen Liston, calling him to get up. The memorable moment of Ali snarling while apparently swiping a right hand was caught by photographers Neil Leifer and John Rooney. Rooney's black and white photo taken with a 35mm SLR camera produced a rectangular frame. He worked for Associated Press and his photo was used around the world. It was seen as almost a perfect sports photo. But a color photo by Sports Illustrated's Leifer is regarded by some as even better. The real perfect shot. Powerful overhead strobe lights in the arena gave this photo a studio-like quality. In those days, the main championship fight took place around 10 pm, and by then, thick clouds of cigar smoke filled the air, turning the ring into a perfect studio-like setting. The combination of smoke and strobe lights resulted in a blue cast, making the photo even more dramatic. The photo is captivating, showing Ali's strength and confidence. It perfectly depicts the winner's celebration, the loser's defeat, and the spectator's reaction, all frozen in time. His shot of Ali over Liston is taken with a Roliflex. The two boxers fill the frame in a more imposing way, with the blackened arena above Ali heightening the drama. One funny reason why Leifert took his historic photo was that a senior photographer, Herb Schaffman, moved him to that side of the ring. Schaffman wanted a better spot by the judge's table. Leifer was one of only two photographers at ringside who had their cameras loaded with color film. During those days, shooting in color was considered a risky decision. Leifer's photo didn't make the cover initially. It was on page 4. But later, it became the iconic poster image, capturing Ali at his best. People wanted to remember him in his prime. Leifer also kept his own record of that night.